Hello everyone, I'm Gamer7510. How are you guys doing today? Okay, so um, I bought this new game. It was released on the 4th. Uh, I thought it was honestly the 5th that was supposed to be released on uh, of this month. But in all honesty, it was supposed to be released last month on the 5th. But I don't know. The release for this game has been jumped around everywhere, every which way. So, but luckily I got it today. That's that's beside the point. I was kind of anticipating this game. It looks very interesting, to say the least. Uh, I like the art style. I like how it looks. So, uh, we're gonna play it together. All right. Uh, let's get right to it. New game. Um, yes. I. Okay. Cool. That's fine. Did you know that enemies are able to block your attack if they are aware of you? Of course, any enemy can do that. I don't know if this is a cutscene. Oh. It all began in darkness. I awoke to a world of pain. A throbbing in my head pounded on my temples. Suddenly I saw a white light approaching me. I saw a human form within that light. An angel. The shining light radiated something soothing. Eric. My name's Eric. <laughs> the angel spoke to me. Eric, it's time. Time for our bed? The angel disappeared, and the hammering became more intense. Faster. Slowly, my sight returned. A rhythm and different sounds which slowly coalesced to become music. Okay. The darkness slowly gave way to blurry surroundings. I focused on regaining my orientation. What is my okay. All around me, I could see people, bodies twitching, moving to the rhythm of the music. Twitching is good for it. I felt <laughs> sick, but at least I could move again. I needed to run some water over my head. That would do me good. Marker shows where you need to go. Oh! Jeez. So this is me. This is what I look like. Okay, I look a little bit more gruff than I thought I would look like. I thought I would look like, um... D uh, lack of a better word, a whiny kid? I think my W has stuck. Oh, no. The, the nausea was getting stronger. Gathering the last of my strength, I dragged myself on. Okay. Uh... Track myself, please. Thank you. L like I was saying, he looks a little bit more gruffy than what I thought he would be. Um, because I, I, when I saw the screenshots, I thought it would be like this whiny kid. Um, or just like a teenager or a average 20 something year old uh, boy who went to like the nightclub and got transformed. Wow, look at the animation quality of that. <laughs> Alright, let's just go right here. Alright. So apparently I'm in a nightclub, and I'm going to the restroom. What happened? I thought I was walking straight, and now I'm just like... Oh, 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 oh. Like I got something stuck in my neck. Okay, so I'm walking on my own. <laughs> Eric, your assignment is waiting. Eric. Eric Bain. The name shot through my head like a bullet. It was my name. Other memories. Nothing. The darkness in my head veiled everything. Hmm. Interesting game, to say the least. Or so far, anyways. Okay, I'm just gonna walk out. The angel was gone, and so was the pain. It was time to find out who I was. Alright, like I said. Or what I was doing here. Chances were, the bouncer had seen me come in. Maybe he could shed some light on the subject. Okay, now I'm actually able to... Get out of my face! We don't need an audience! I wanna watch! I wanna be part of... <laughs> How can I for that? Let's go up to the bouncer. Uh... Am I supposed to be up here? No. Wow, the sensitivity in this freaking thing is extremely fucking high. I probably have to turn that down. Oh, here he is. Hi. Yeah? What do you want? I wanted to ask. I couldn't get another word out. The sight of his weapon woke some kind of memory. Hey, hey, man, you okay? That's interesting. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. I'm doing fine. Did I come to the club alone, or was someone with me? No idea. My shift had only just begun. My boss was watching the door before that. Where can I find him? Well, he's sure to be hanging around here somewhere. Ask at the bar for Tom. Well, the lip that flashback had felt pretty damn realistic, even if I didn't completely understand it. What should I make of it? <laughs> Alright, so... Uh, let, I made uh, my way back into the club to find the head of security. Maybe he would be able to help me. So, uh, that's what they want me to do, but I'm gonna walk outside. I'm done with the <laughs> uh, Let's look at the posters. 
Skylight Dance Eternity. Um, only at Vamp Club. I, I see what they did there. And his goblin drummers. And their clumsy baby ogre. Demon... Demon Light? Or Demon... Demon Knight. Demon Knight. DJ Necro, The Bloods, Dark Rain. And amazing performances. Uh... Oh, amazing performances, prices, hot girls, but drink specials, sanctuary special. I see where they're going here. DJ Nightshade, <laughs> Little Vlad, the sanctuary, one night in hell. I see what they're going for. They're all these horrible freaking puns. The moon party, um, evil stare. Is this an emo clip? Because I, right, yeah, I granted, I, I. I I don't think this is what a normal person would wear uh, at like a normal club. I mean, because if you look at it, I have three belts on my chest. Belts on my chest, yes. I got some type of holster thing on my leg. I'm staring at my ass now. Uh, <laughs> so I, I look more paramilitary, and that's something like industrial clubs go do. But looking at the rest of this crowd, like, all the stuff on the walls and shit like that, that looks all goth and emo and maybe industrial. But when you look at the club, no one's dressing like that. They're, I mean, what is that person dancing like? Because this is very slow, methodic music, and this is just... These people aren't really dancing that way. I don't even... Ooh. Use. Pretty, pretty. Oh. Oh, wow. I... God damn it. <laughs> oh. Is something I can help you with? Can I punch you? Can I punch you? Can I knock right into you? No, I can't do shit except talk to you. What can I do for Nothing. you? I just want to say, see what I could do. Look at different shit. Because this looks like it's a vampire type club. That's the best thing I can do. Well, and instead of looking around, let's go. Let's do our objective now. I, I looked around for a bit. I know you guys get bored, so let's go right into it. This is definitely a freaking vampire club. I mean, fucking look at it. There's skeleton bones, it's purple everywhere, which is like nightshade. There's these weird things, like weird... Oh, I can't even walk in them. Like curtains up. This is... And this giant fucking vampire, is that a dragon up top? Uh, and we also got this weird stuff. And this is such fucking loud music, I probably have to like turn it down. Hi, I'll have a... You'll have a Bloody Mary. How style. Oh. Who said I wanted a Bloody Mary? Believe me, I know exactly what you want. Do you know where Tom is? Tom? Yes, I do happen to know where Tom is. Head upstairs and you'll find him. Good luck. Okay, catch you later. How? Yes. See you later. How did you know what... The stuff tasted disgusting and it had a strange aftertaste. However, my body saw it differently and a pleasant warmth spread through me. Okay. All right then. Uh, but why did you say Tom like Tom? <laughs> How do you? I don't. Sometimes I don't understand these types of games, but hopefully the game's not going to be as ridiculous as the rest of this so far. I see a lot of nightshade. And, oh, okay. Some more, more. D hey oh, man. okay. You okay? <laughs> Have we met? Not directly, but don't we all know one another somehow? I mean, we're practically one big family. I have no idea what you're talking about. Shit, man, you really don't know, do you? My memory is a bit foggy at the moment. <laughs> sure, whatever. <laughs> I know exactly what you mean. Look, Wasn't? we can help you, man. I mean, I know someone who can. Follow me, dude. How? I'll take you to her. I'm sure she'll help you. Her name's <laughs> Rose, and she knows more about that stuff than the rest of us. Okay, so I, I know the premise of the game. Um, I kind of don't want to spoil it, but I mean, you kind of could understand based on the club that we're fucking in that hey, what this is gonna be about I'm a freaking vampire all right now how in the world hey man does you were really lucky to meet you there's some of us out there that are real bad news dude. Uh, they would have just ripped your head off or something don't worry we're almost there by the way Rose she owns this of sandwich. course she does vampire Rose you know all right so what I was trying to say is how in the world do vampires know who other vampires are? Like, I, they may have like a certain fucking sight or something like that, so they could see what other people are. But 
besides that just random just instinctively yeah I know who you are you're a vampire just like me oh really now <laughs> see what's up, what's up with this he has like two belts too oh that's a body armor vest though so that's that's different uh, that's something different though I mean, I don't think I have a body armor vest, or do I? It just looks... Do I have a corset? Is, is that what I'm fucking wearing? Is a corset? Okay, we're at the objective. Oh, okay. Hi, Tom. I see you brought a guest. Nice to see you again. Was the drink okay? Hey, Rose. This dude has, like, got no idea what's happening. Can't remember a damn thing. And he's here all alone? Looks like it. Hello, I'm still here. <laughs> Could you tell me what's going on? I have no idea what you're talking about. You're a... Vampire. Boom. A vampire, like Tom and me. <laughs> yeah, right. Thanks for the drink. And no offense, but I'll just be going now. Tom, show him. Oh, shit. <laughs> what? Hey, neat trick, man. What? You automatically resorted to your vampire abilities out of pure reflex. Not bad. You seem to be a natural. Oh. Thank you, Tom. I'll take care of our guests now. You can go back. Yo, later, man. What? If it was... So? My name is Eric. Eric Bain. Well, Eric, I'm Rose. I hope our little demonstration convinced you. That I, I could think blink? I have any alternative. <laughs> that is correct. Right now, you also have a much bigger problem you need to take also care of. Much you are not yet a fully fledged vampire, and that has some. What, problems. weakness to sun? Oh! Oh, so there's like a full contact, uh, dialogue sequence. Okay, so. Full fledged vampire. Okay. I know what a vampire is. Uh, so let's do a full. How come I'm not a full vampire yet? If a vampire drinks your blood and kills you in the process, you will turn into a vampire yourself. However, that alone does not complete the transformation. First, you have to drink your creator's blood. Only then will you be a full-fledged vampire. And since I don't know who made me a vampire, that's kind of a problem. Yeah, exactly. A vampire doesn't just create another vampire for no reason. We try to hide our very existence from humans. And every newcomer increases the risk of being discovered. Your creator put us all at risk when he just left you behind. No vampire would willingly call down the wrath of all the others upon himself. I suppose something must have happened to him. And what happens if I don't drink his blood? You really don't want to know. Oh. I have no idea exactly what happens when someone becomes a vampire. <laughs> but if you do not get the right blood, your brain starts to deteriorate. You will become more and more of an animal. Oh. Until you finally lose all of your humanity. We call these pitiful creatures ghouls. Well, okay. Believe me. That. You want to avoid becoming one of those creatures at all costs. I'm gonna guess that options. I have to fight ah, ghouls. Yes. The blood of an ancient and powerful vampire can theoretically replace your creator's blood. But I'm talking about vampires that have been in the business for several decades. You won't find anyone like that in the sanctuary. But I do know of someone. His name is John Blooming. He's the director of the Harding Museum downtown. <laughs> Blooming is not a nice man. He's not likely to give you his blood just voluntarily. Not him. It's not as if I have much of a choice. That is certainly true. However, you should talk to Tom before you head out. He can give you a few tips. Okay. So, all right, first and foremost, I do want to say, um, before this whole fucking Twilight shit came out, I actually am a huge fan of, fan of vampires. Um, like the true fucking vampires, not no f fucking sparkling in the sun vampires. Um, uh, I'm not sure if a lot of people know that or not, but uh, <laughs> vampires were a lot more badass than when they go out in the sun and, you know, sparkle like a fucking twilight. No, fucking, they're supposed to burn up in the sun, or at least have a severe weakness to the sun where mostly all their freaking vampiric powers disappear or something like that happens. Like, they're not supposed to sparkle. I mean, that's so fucking stupid. I...